Listen to this. The CDC says over 50 million people experience noises in their ear. And I'm assuming those aren't good noises either. Dr. Jody Conter from Gardner Audiology is back to explain what this is and how her practice can help. Welcome back, doctor. How are you? Thank you, you for having me again. I'm great. How are you? I am well. So noises in the air, I'm assuming we're talking about those unwelcome noises. Yes, tinnitus <laughs> or tinnitus, either way is proper. Um, a lot of people hear different things. It could be ringing, it could be buzzing, it could be a hissing sound, but it's a, a noise inside when there isn't any noise outside. So what creates this problem? I mean, I've heard of people saying that there's ringing in their ears and some people can come and go. Is, yes. Do you see that? Yes, absolutely. I have it. I live with it every day in my left ear. I have tinnitus and it's constantly there. Sometimes I'm more aware of it than others. There are things that make it worse. Stress is my trigger. If I'm under a lot of stress, my ear screams. So uh, it's definitely very common. It's very common in people who've you know, been around noise in their lives. Sometimes medications can cause it. So there's a lot of different reasons why you could have. Sometimes impacted earwax can make it happen, you know, and that, when that comes out, then it's gone. But uh, it's a lot of different things. It's usually a symptom of something. It's not a disease or something like that. It's a symptom of something else. It's a symptom. So yes. as someone like yourself, how can you help treat these symptoms? Because they, I'm assuming, are very frustrating. And It is very frustrating. Well, the first thing we do is we have to try to find out more about it. Okay. We start with a hearing test because very often tinnitus is a symptom of high frequency hearing loss. In my case, I have normal hearing, so who knows? Uh, but a hearing test, we do a good case history, look at the medications that people are on because probably 75% of the medications listed uh, have tinnitus as a potential side effect. It's, uh, it's really very common. Um, and just try to find out where the tinnitus is. We have a new device called a tinometer where we can try to isolate where it is, the frequency that it's at, how loud it is, and that can help lead to some possible treatments. And of course, you led right to treatments because I'm assuming people out there, maybe they do have a ringing in their ear and they're like, oh, I just got to chalk that up. This is what I have to live with. And you may have to, you know, if it's not something like from middle ear problems or impacted wax or something, if it truly is something internal, it may be something that you have to live with, but you have to take control of it. And that is something that I personally learned. Um, there are different, you know, learning to control the stress levels. If I'm more calm, I do not notice the noise as much. I wear a tinnitus masker. So I wear a device that puts a more pleasant noise in my ear than the noise that my ear makes, and it distracts me from the internal noise. Okay, Dr. Conter, I don't see anything going on in that ear right there. You can see my earpiece is even bigger than yours, so that's one of the things yes. that you can help. Yes, and because sometimes if you have a hearing loss, just wearing hearing aids, will help mask the internal noise. Uh, probably 75% of my patients that have hearing loss and tinnitus tell me when they wear their hearing aids, they don't notice it as much. For me, I don't have hearing loss, so that wasn't an option. But I wear a hearing aid that has a noise generator in it, and it distracts me from the internal noise. Interesting. Dr. Conter, I mean, this is one of the things that you see in your practice. And if people up there, you know, it seems like hearing is just one of those things that people chalk up to, well, I have to live with this. What message do you want people to know out there? We can help you manage it. That mm -hmm. It's about learning to manage what's going on with your hearing and with the noises that you have. There are things that we can do. Having tinnitus can cause stress. It can cause sleep disorders. People can't sleep at night because of it. It causes anxiety. And all of those things exacerbate the tinnitus. You know, it's like a vicious cycle. So we want to help you get control of it. Oh, well, if you're interested in getting more information and learning how Gardner Audiology can help you, we'll give them a call or visit their website. All of the information is right there on your screen. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for I really having mean me again. that. And you're addressing things that people, again, think they have to live with. So, every day of their lives. Good stuff, doctor. Thanks again.